there's also like one very handy thing that we can use a lot, which is the wheel. When we click on the first wheel, the middle wheel, you can see this kind of uh, yeah fast or like shortcut commands mm -hmm. that you can control. So basically, they are uh, disable and enable. So now this is enabled, but if I mid wheel and click here, disable, mm -hmm. it it will not be created. It's it's not a thing. So even here in the panel, it's asking saying no that. The logic of Grasshopper is uh, input, process, output. So okay. when you're uh, in de deactivating it, so there is no process. So the input uh, does not do it; it's not useful anymore. And there is okay. So no, so so it it doesn't create. A... Yeah. When do we use this? Not a lot of time we use disable, but uh sometimes you want to create different processes after each other to not make the grasshopper you know recalculate each time you change something or like alter some numbers or parameters so you just disable them for for a while this is the disable and when i enable it again the next button it becomes another thing is disable preview so that's also very useful because in when you have, you know, like this map of like, I, I name it uh, macaroni or pasta or something like that. <laughs> oh, it's all they go. And you don't know like what are you looking at. Disable the view of some some of the objects. So it's so turn it on and off and see what it's affecting. Exactly. So now ah, it's okay. it's working. Now you can see it's uh, dark gray, but it's working. There is a circle which is the same circle that it's creating it, but it's only not showing it. So it's just hide. So this here, disable preview, just hides it, or you can enable it to see it again. What else you can maybe choose two different things, or let's say I choose two sliders, and using this, I can group them. So now they are, a group just to um, organize your work because as you said when it becomes very messy <laughs> you will yeah even you will not understand how how did you create it or how did it work yeah, grouping and naming so if you right click uh, on the group and write something so for example how many parameters so yeah so now i know Whenever I come back to this group, I know like what does this slider do. There is the easy way uh, baking. So instead, the last time if you right click and say bake, it will ask you a lot about the options, what layer or so. But with, with the middle mid wheel, if you just hit bake, so it just baked it. So it is already there. It doesn't ask you any information. And, no options. Yeah, okay. no, some some of the things will not be baked, like the panel, because it's just a panel with, with information. So if I say bake, it will not do anything. And these parameters, because they are just numbers, the bake will not do it. Only the geometry uh, things or like components will be visible on right.